hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today so this is amen clothing youtube channel where we use pattern to teach you how to sew unlimited designs of dresses so this particular one is a uh, is a pinafore dress like the exact type you see in denim jean fabric here yeah. so this is it it doesn't have any joining at the waist okay so if that's what you want to watch because I'm going to be giving detailed tutorials on how I drafted the pattern and the sewing. If that's what you want to watch, then keep watching this video to the end. Please subscribe, like this video, click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post new videos on this channel. Okay, so this is what they look like. I attached the zipper by the side. This is what this dress looks like. Okay, this is how comfortable it is on me. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, I attached the button at that part. And this is it for this dress. Please do not forget to hit the bell notification bell. Let's head straight to the pattern drafting, okay? So you'll be needing your basic body front. And I've gone ahead to write front. You'll be needing your basic body's front. And I've gone ahead to write front, okay? So having done that, I have my basic neckline, my armhole, <clears throat> my bust point, a line, my waistline, all the way to my hip line and of course my hemline and i also have my dart i did not impute my side bust that because as you can see from tura will be taking it off so from my shoulder <clears throat> i'm going to be marking one inch from my sh uh, like so <clears throat> sorry i'm going to be marking one inch from my shoulder and i'm checking my nipple to nipple it is three inches okay so i needed to use half inch because the neckline i removed is 2.5 plus that half inch making it three and i'm going to be joining it to meet my bust apart line like so i hope you understand to meet my bust apart line like so so having done this now i want to determine the depth of my front pinafore the depth where i'm going to be hanging the belt to button something like that so I used seven inches and I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead to rule a straight line across like so. So I haven't done that now. The next thing we are going to do, I'm trying to make it visible so you guys can see it. The next thing we are going to do now also is to determine the curved area of it. Okay. The curved area. We are going to be determining the curved area, what the curve is going to look like. So I'm going ahead to draw this very particular one like so. And this is what the curve area is going to look like. I intend stopping it at my waistline. But then you can go one inch below your waistline. Okay. Just whatever you're doing, make sure you mark your notches from your pattern to the fabric. So I'm using 1.5 inches as the, what do I call it? As the pinafore belt. Abby, crossing belt, whatever. Just that very particular part where it hangs from the back to the front where I'm going to be fixing the button. I used 1.5 inches, okay? So I haven't done that now. I'll be using that very place to finish up my curved edge, okay? I'm using that very part to finish up my curved edge, okay? I'm using that very particular part to finish up my curved edge. Please do not keep in mind of all those lines. They are actually not in place. So from the second line, which is actually the line where I would like to call it the pinafore belt. The pinafore belt. So the second line, yeah. That's where I had to, you know finish up that very curved part. And I'm going to be using my scissors to cut this out like so. I really don't know why this part is boring, but please bear with me. Blurring, sorry, blurring. But please bear with me. It's going, it's going to be clear very soon. And I think it is now. So this is what it looks like, okay? I'm going ahead to cut off... <clears throat> The parts that we wouldn't be needing are the center front area. And here, this is what we're having. So now do not forget that we have a dart. Okay, that's my front. And I'm trying to show you all the way to my hemline. So now do not forget that we have a dart. 
okay and i need to remove the part where we've not removed as that as you can see that part where we did not remove as that i'm going to be removing it okay so i'm going ahead now to mark it out and i'll be bringing back my pattern so i do not make mistakes okay so i'll bring back my pattern and i'll go ahead to tape it down go ahead to tape it down like so and starting from my waistline i'm going to be eliminating the dart one inch like so and of course my dart let the length i'll go ahead and also mark it by the side and using my ruler i'll be connecting these two together like so and here we've eliminated that dart okay so now we'll be having our original pattern to be like so our actual pattern sorry to be like so and now this is our actual pattern for the front very easy can you see very simple so having done that this is what it looks like okay and we'll head straight to the back so for the back we're also going to be it's actually same thing for the back and i'm going to have to write back you want to measure half inch from this very particular part where your neckline started and that half inch is actually three inches for the bust apart measurements. I hope you understand. So I'm going ahead to connect it to meet my bust apart line like so. Then I also go ahead to determine the crossing belt, the belt of the of the pin alpha, okay, and I used the same thing here, 1.5 inches, just as I used in the front. And I'm connecting it like so. So now, also determining, um, I want to give the back like a V shape, like we have in the thumbnail. I want to give the back a V shape, like on the, the one on the screen. So I, I'm going ahead now to connect those lines together okay i marked seven inches from the shoulder to this point and 2.5 inches from my armhole vertical measurement to this very particular point where it is 2.5 inches and i'm also going to be connecting that very particular line to this other to my waistline okay just like we did for the front and remember, I went down by one inch, so I'm also extending the back by one inch. And I'm going to be connecting it with a very nice curve. So, here is it. I'll go ahead to eliminate the dart just like we did for the front and you want to mark your dart width one inch your dart width one inch and also the length then you go ahead to connect it So here now we're going ahead to cut, 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 cut. And then I'll go ahead to cut this off like so. So you, you know when we when you started watching this video, I attached the button to the front and there was just one piece of the crossing of the belt of the pinafore all the way from the back to the front so i'm also going to be showing you how i did that right away you're going to be seeing it right now so this is the fabric i used and now this is my pattern okay i attached i detached the shoulder of the front the breadth of the front and i attached it to the back so when i join it it's going to form one full piece as you can see and then i go ahead to use my button to join it to the front okay that was what i actually did but here i found out that i joined it to the front 
and it's actually the back that I need to make the whole belt. Then use my button to join that of the front. So I have to detach it with my masking tape and I fixed it back to the front. Then detaching that of the front, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to be joining shoulder to shoulder. I have to label so I know where to put which so I don't get confused. Okay. And so everything comes out nice actually. So I'm going ahead to turn it like so and using my masking tape to join it. So it forms a piece of belt and not two. We don't have any joining at the shoulder. Okay. And that is it. So when you turn it around, like you want to turn it around, like when we're done sewing, and this is the front, as you can see, it's going to be like this. Use my button to hold it there. Okay. So that was it. And I will go ahead, I'll go ahead straight now to cut for the front. Okay. So I'm going ahead now to cut this out like so. So right now I'm cutting the fabric as you can see. And at the edges, I'm leaving allowance. Half inch at this other, half inch at the edges where that is not the side seam. Only the side seam, that was where I left about one inch. So when I when it gets bigger on me, I can loosen it. So I'm going to have to sew the back with the lining, as you can see. I've sewed the back and I've turned it up with the lining. This is what the back looks like. See that V-shape and the long strap, which will go over to the front. Okay. I'm going to have to sew the back and this is the lining for the back. So same thing I did to the front also. I went ahead to sew up the front. This is what the front looks like. I used white lining for the front. Okay. Ah, my dress is done. Okay, you guys. So I'm going ahead to be, I'll be shaping this together right now. Okay. So we want to place it like so. And then you shape and please do not mind that part of my sleeve that is torn you guys so you're going to be shaping like so and also you'll be shaping here like so okay and let's get straight to that and after that this is what we'll be having thanks for watching and i'll see you guys definitely in the next tutorial if you have any question leave it in the comment section bye